In this problem, we're told for the following rational function, write the equations for the vertical asymptote or totes and the horizontal asymptote. So here is our function, and we need to review how to find vertical asymptotes. So to find vertical asymptotes of a rational function, you must look at the function in simplified form. That means there are no common factors in the numerator and the denominator. And then any resulting zeros of the denominator are your vertical asymptotes. So does anything reduce in this one? Well, let's see. We can factor the numerator a little. I can factor a 3 out. And it's going to leave you with x. And 3 goes into 12 four times. So it's going to leave me with 3 times the quantity x plus 4 over x plus 2. So now does anything reduce here? No. So now to find the vertical asymptotes, all you have to do is find the zeros of the denominator. So you set the denominator equal to 0. Subtract 2 from both sides, you get x equals negative 2. So that is the equation of my one vertical asymptote in this problem. Now we need to work on horizontal asymptotes. And the horizontal asymptotes depend on the degree of the numerator. So if I look at my numerator, what is the degree? What is the highest exponent on any of the x's? It's a 1. And how about the denominator? What is the degree of the denominator? The degree of the denominator is also a 1. So in this case, the degree of the numerator, if you can read my terrible handwriting, equals the degree of the denominator. In other words, this is often called a balanced equation. And what does that mean? Well, look, let's look at our notes for horizontal asymptotes. The first one says if the degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator, not true in this case. Next one, if the degree of the numerator is equal to the degree of the denominator, that's what I have. The horizontal asymptote of the graph is the horizontal line y equals the ratio of the leading coefficient of the numerator divided by the leading coefficient of the denominator. So let's go back and look at our problem here. So our horizontal asymptote is going to have the equation y equals the ratio of the leading coefficient of the numerator divided by the leading coefficient of the denominator. So the leading coefficient, it doesn't mean the first number you see. It means the coefficient of the highest power of x. So since this is my highest power of x in the numerator, what is the leading coefficient? It is a 3. Now for the denominator, this term is the leading term. It's the highest power on the x's. And what number are we too efficient to write in front of that x? There's a 1 there. So what is the leading coefficient of the denominator? It is a 1. So 3 divided by 1 equals 3. So what is the equation of the horizontal asymptote? y equals 3.